That's right. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about Jay Glazer really quick. Jay Glazer announced that he was going to have massive, massive news and that he wasn't playing around. Uh, it was and, he, the, and he gave like a tease for a day, like a yes. full 24-hour tease. He has a show on FS1 that is brand new, so we all kind of had to know, all right, like, but he had everybody talking, right? And I think that the... I think that the ratings are probably going to show that it was really well watched until that point, right? Like, until he announced what the news was. Uh, it was Fox Football Night. At the, isn't that what it's called? Do you remember? I don't know. Uh, and it, it came on at 10 p.m. Central last night. Rams center Brian Allen is the first NFL player to have uh, COVID-19. To and, test positive, even yeah. though he is asymptomatic. Well, it, uh, it, here's the deal. He's tested twice. Like, he he had it, and then he was done, and then he was tested again because he got it again. He, he tested positive twice. Now, he's had it for over three weeks. Apparently, it's done now. He's all good. When he first got it, the reason he went and got, uh, went and got tested was because he had no, no smell and no taste. He said he could not smell. He put bath salts up yeah. to his nose. To where, like, or what it smelling salts? What it's not bath salts. Bath salts are the thing you eat and you become a zombie or some shit, right? Like, in, <laughs> in that <what> it is. <laughs> but it's some smelling salt, something that you're supposed to be able to smell and it's supposed to make like your sinuses better or whatever. And he he said he couldn't smell anything. He would eat stuff. He said he could drink water or he could drink piss and he wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Like it wouldn't matter. Um, and that's what's kind of frightening about it. Like, it's a weird side effect for viruses. But apparently, you lose your taste, you lose your smell, and all you can do is really feel, like, the texture on your tongue of what you're eating. Like, there's you're, you're getting food, but it really doesn't matter what it is. Like, if that... You, you want to know the truth on this? I would... I'd be eating every vegetable I could get my hands on. If I if all if I didn't this have is, to taste it, this is where like, now as long as you don't get sick, as long as you don't get any of the other symptoms, yeah, and you get sick, if that's all it was, yeah, I could drop some lbs in in fourteen days if I just lost my sense of taste and smell. Yeah, uh, yeah. We had a uh, let's see. Hudson jumped in. He said, uh, "I understand that it would benefit USC to keep him because if Slovis gets hurt, then who do you have? Matt Fink." Yeah, and back to that. Yes, USC. Well, you want as many good quarterbacks as possible. Co- qu- quarterback too. I mean, every year, if you're at that level program, you should be recruiting quarterbacks every year. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, but back to Brian Allen. One, Brian Allen. The issue with this, uh, let's see. Michael said Pat McAfee had a hilarious take on it. Um, the deal is like he's he's pretty much anonymous, right? So if this was like, if this was Rams quarterback Jared Goff, then it'd be big news. Totally and, different, different conversation. But because it's it's center Brian Allen, I mean he he was a backup, uh, backup center, and then this past year he became the starter, started nine games, missed the last seven games of the season due to a, a season-ending injury. It, nobody really knows who this is, and and it doesn't affect anybody at all. And like the guy and the guy's not really sick. Yeah, like if he was, if we had our first case in the NFL and it's somebody that, that got real sick, then it's news. And I'm not saying it's not news. It's not the kind of news that you tease for 24 hours before yeah. your show. And this is the groundbreaking show. Cause let me tell you something. Now you've been the little boy that's cried wolf. Okay. And the next time you tease something, you get EAD. All right. Yep. At, I'm gonna the move issue on is, and I'll wait and let Twitter tell me was it anything worth a damn or not. Yeah, but you're not getting my views. You're just not. No, not anymore. Like if you had just you had lied. you if, lied to me. Yeah, if you had just had Sean McVay on and y'all just talked about whatever, um, you know. And, and Michael said uh, these days people will put uh, just about anything up their nose. <laughs> it's, it's true. Well, it's very true. I, that was my kind of first thought was is you know he lost his sense of smell, but the first thing he did was go get smelling salts to help it like well i don't know if it was the uh, they may have had some in the that? house they they might have had some in the house i'm not i ain't but I, okay, that. that's fine just because yeah you you got it now you know why you got it in the house because you knock shit out all the time all right <laughs> you either do something to knock yourself out or you knock somebody else out there's no other reason to keep smelling salts around okay they don't smell good yeah. and they don't clean your sinuses that's not what they're there for i mean yeah they will clean your sinuses yeah but that 
that's a bit extreme for trying to just clean your sinuses. I, right? I agree. That's something a moron will do. I agree. Uh, Matt jumped in. He said the severe symptoms are only seen in people with other medical conditions. Um, and uh, yeah, it, in it, most of the time, I'm going to be careful like, with the only ever talking about this thing with any intelligence. Yeah, because okay? obviously we've we've seen, um, you know, it it it's not always other medical. It was conditions. only people over sixty, and then a thirty four year old dies, and then we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Yeah, and right. then then it becomes a problem. And then it's like, okay, we don't know. We don't know what's happening, so we do. You and me don't know anything about this shit. Yeah. So that's I'm, all I'm, I know is is Jay Glazer lied to me. Did he tell a lie? No. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he said I have massive news and I'm going to break it tomorrow. That's you know. And so I, I watched McAfee this morning, and uh, and obviously I was having to work at the same time. But one of the things that he brought up is that he actually believes that Glazer thought that this was like a really big step. Like he. Thought it really? was a big story. We've got like two hundred thousand people have caught this disease, and Glazer knows one of them. Well, also. it's it's because it's the first NFL player that's tested positive, and he was working cares? out at the Rams facility, and da 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 da. Like, who, but who but who cares that you're the first player in this small group of people that make up this organization? Yeah, I mean, you got like, a point. It's not special. Like it, it really wasn't that big a news when Sean Payton got it. You know, no. Now, hang on. How is Sean Payton not the first? He's not the first NFL player, but he's the first person in the NFL, and that's more of a bigger deal than this. Yeah, that's a Sean much Payton bigger name. Is older. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. I mean, the the whole thing's just. I, I just I just like I said, man. You, I like Jay Glazer. I he is as well connected to this league as anybody, but I'm I don't. I don't like that shit, okay? I don't like the sensationalism of, I've got big news, and then everybody gets your big news, and it's nothing. It's a dud. It's an absolute dud. I mean, he, he, he tweeted just, today. It's laughable. He, he said years and years of building up goodwill gone in one night. Like, and he, yeah. he, he realized what it was. Michael jumped in on Twitch. He said, uh, you guys don't keep smelling salts next to the bed? Like, no. what's wrong with you? <laughs> no. No. Oh, my God. All right. I mean, let's... I don't want to accuse somebody of something, but maybe if you got a habit of knocking your old lady out, you probably do need to keep smelling salts around. But I'm just saying, maybe she <laughs> knocks you out. That's why you keep smelling. I, the only time in my entire life I've ever been around smelling salts was on a football field, and it was when somebody got knocked out. There you go. There you go. That's well, that's the list of all the times I've been around. Of all the reasons why you've ever had to be around it. Let's go Somebody on. Somebody was out cold. Let's uh let's jump into this next topic here. The 35th 